Artemis. Artemis. Baby. <sighs> so I haven't had time to vlog. Obviously. Because I've been taking care of him. My parents are in Mexico. So I haven't had any like much help besides Ronald. But he's back to work too. So that's been kind of difficult. Hi ah. huh, baby. Artemis. such a proud mama all right so I wanted to make this video um, because I just went to see my doctor and I got a official not my bariatric doctor but my general practitioner because I'm not gonna go see my bariatric doctor anymore um, per my last visit um, I'm pretty much he was just wanting to monitor monitor me a little bit because I was pregnant but other than that I've been doing great yeah I've been doing great yeah. Mm-hmm. So, things have been going pretty good. I haven't had any complications. Yeah, no complications. So, and he's been doing really well, too. So, I want to try to... If you guys follow me on Facebook, um, at my highest during the pregnancy, I was... Why is the camera looking all crazy? <laughs> he's very talkative like his mama um at my highest i was 178 and um after i had him i was at 170 and today i weighed in at 165 Mhm. Mm so i have about 15 pounds to go to lose to get back to the 150 that i had set for myself and the first two weeks out of giving birth I felt like oh crap I am going to gain back all my weight because I I was still eating and I still felt like eating bless you I still felt like eating like if I was pregnant I was getting hungry every two to three hours and I was eating a lot a lot for myself, I guess, because I could eat the whole sandwich and maybe a half another sandwich. And I was eating four tacos and stuff like that. So that's how I measured that it was a lot. Um, but then around the third week, um, I wasn't feeling as hungry. And then now today, I can feel restriction. Like I've been having, I feel like I'm having trouble eating because things are getting stuck. But it's not that. It's that I'm finally feeling the restriction that. I guess was not there when I became pregnant and it's so amazing how your body just adapts to everything that you're like going through huh baby yeah it just adapts and so now my body's like okay you're not pregnant anymore let's get it back together I guess so that's what I'm doing um and so far I've lost a significant amount of weight to me um and I started cleaning out bread tortillas and stuff like that and starting to control my portions again and trying to cut out the junk which is like Starbucks and like fast food and all that but it is kind of hard because it's so convenient especially with him now um I have no time to do anything basically I'm still trying to get in a routine thankfully he's starting to sleep through the night once in a while he'll get up like he was going through a growth spurt yesterday I guess and he woke up twice almost three times um, to feed but then um, before that he was waking up only once so he's giving his mama a break oh baby um, but yeah I'm trying to get back on track and I wanted to talk to my general practitioner to see if um, it would be a better idea for me to go back on to my prenatal vitamins and my iron and my calcium because that's three pills versus these seven pills that I ate, actually, that I would have to go back on now that I'm not pregnant and I don't need the prenatal vitamins. She said that it wouldn't be a problem that I can take my prenatals and my iron if I wanted. That was going to make things easier for me. Has Have any of you guys gone that route instead of taking a bunch of pill, individual pills? Have you guys gone to, and just taken like the prenatal vitamins and, or anything like that? Sounds like it's cheaper too. 
and the prenatal vitamins that um, I took during my pregnancy worked really well for all my levels except for my iron. And then my calcium dipped a little. But that's it. Everything else, like my labs were perfect. So I think I'm going to do that and see how it goes. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. This is my life now. Yeah. And in general, I keep getting asked, is he a good baby? Is he a good baby? What does that mean? Um, I think, of course, I'm going to say he's a great baby. He's mine. But as far as fussiness, uh, it's mild. As far as, like, crying hours on end for no reason, I haven't hit that yet. I know that it happens around the three-month mark. So, he's almost three months. He'll be three months on the 25th of April. And... I'm just hoping that he thrives and is that develops no kind of issues like asthma or anything like that. That's kind of a little bit worrisome uh, subject for me because I do have my parents who are smokers and I have pets in the house. And the doctor said that those are the two major things that can cause like asthma or allergies. So concerns there. Of course, diet is also my concern. I don't want to overfeed him. And I want to start good eating habits before he gets old enough to realize that they're, they're, that they're not the norm, I guess. How do I explain it? The norm in, in America is like fast food and all this in large portions and stuff like that. Yeah, large portions. I don't want him to get used to that. I want him to have controlled decent sized portions i want him to gain weight properly and i don't want him to um go down the route that i went and that ronald went because we're both or we're overweight and i just i want to set the tone for him to have a healthy life and not have to go through my extremes to get there yeah so i just want to post this quick video um and give you guys this update and they're gonna be like this until i get a routine going i'm gonna go back to work on the 20th yeah mama's gonna go back to work um and i don't know how i feel about that yet um this past week has been a really emotional one for me because of the whole things with my sister that are happening that i don't want to get into detail but it's leading me to go to therapy um and i'll just leave it at that I, I've had so many changes in such a little time and I feel like I need someone to vent to <laughs> um, because sometimes I feel like I can't even turn off my brain at night. Uh, speaking of, my doctor gave me, um, not Ambien, but something to help me sleep that is prescribed and I'm kind of scared to take it because Although he's sleeping well, and Ronald is sleeping well, I can't. I can't sleep. I'm completely stressed out about a million things that are on my mind. And I can't seem to turn my brain off sometimes. And I guess this is a really, really low dosage for... It's not ambient, and it's not that extreme, and it's not habit-forming and all that. And it's just to test out to see how I feel and how my sleep gets. But... We shall see. Anyways. <laughs> I gotta tend to this one. And I guess I will see you guys next time.